Today I thought I'd get on and uh, maybe freestyle a J Balvin t-shirt. So this is pretty much all freestyle. Um, I, I've already picked my images and cut them out. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I have no reference. I'm just gonna go straight off the top with this one. So hopefully it works out. All right, so start with my image, my first image here. Cut out just a straight forward image of Balvin and the shades. Thought it was a pretty good image to use for the hierarchy of the t-shirt. And then I have my other images. Uh, first thing I start off with photos. Usually I just make them, or well, they're already smart objects. So I'll just make sure. Yeah, smart objects. So I'll go to mess around with the camera raw filter. First thing I normally do with photos, just to give it a little bit more, like bump it up a little bit with some effects. So I'll just go to camera raw, and then go into the presets right here. Try to find something that feels good. That's cool, vintage instant. And just go back to the settings and make sure that amount is high. Get more of the effect on that photo. Hit OK. Hit OK. Yeah, that's cool. That's all right. So now to add that same effect to the other photos, it's just as simple as clicking on smart object on that layer and holding pressing option and dragging it to the next layer and then automatically copy the same settings onto the next layer. And then I'll do that again. Maybe I'll go back into camera raw and add some more effects to it. See what I'll get. The presets. Um, no. See what I'll do is I'll go into black and white maybe give it a punch select it it'll turn it into black and white but all you got to do is click that layer uh command j to copy and then remove remove the smart filter on the bottom layer so it'll be color now right it'll go back to the original uh, effect that we applied on it before this one and just mess with the blending modes let's see what you get Something around here, maybe. Mm. Maybe just bring down the opacity. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Makes it more brighter and like poppier. All right, so maybe with these, I'll start messing with like some gradient maps for the back. So I had a gradient map on top of that. Those layers, those two back image layers. I'll go here, go to the presets and look for maybe like some blues. Be cool. So Jay Balvin is really out there, man. Really funky, cool, uh, bubbly, I feel. So I feel like you kind of get a grasp of his personality with these colors here. Maybe I'll go and like add a color look up on top of all the photo layers and see what we get from there. That looks kind of cool. Fuji F125 Kodak. That gave it a nice effect. Okay, well, that gave it a dope effect too. All right, I'm gonna stick with that. Maybe move this over a little bit. All right, let's see, bring this down. Uh, let's see what happens if I like give them like mess with the star, mess with the channels a little bit. I'll go to this photo layer right here. Hold down Control, blending options and then start messing with the channels. 
like that give it a nice it's got rid of the red and gave it a nice little bit bumped up the red a little bit yeah i think i like that a lot like, so i'll just leave it like that vivid light was good but let me just try normal no let's go back to vivid boom there you go all right let's make this guy a different color i feel like that has to be a different color so Now nah, yellow works. That looks really funky. That's cool. I could dig that. All right, what's really gonna make this really cool is uh, some type. Some type, and I normally do my type on Illustrator. If you know me, I do all my type on Illustrator. I already picked it out, J Balvin. I'm using Druck Heavy. And then for the script on the bottom, I'm using the medium brush script. So I'll just copy, copy J Balvin, bring them into Photoshop. Back to Illustrator. Okay. My secondary type. All right, let's give it like a a warp effect maybe for this. Let me bring them down. Yeah, I can bring them down. Yeah, let's bring them down a little bit. So to the photos behind him, I don't know, I'm just planning, maybe just to give him like a blur, like blur from the bottom. So that's what I'll do, I'll just give it a mask. Let's give it a mask, that layer and mask. Make sure you hit D so you can go to default settings to black and white swatch. And then switch, hit X to go to, switch it to black. Use a brush tool, soft brush will be good. And then, Make sure you're on the mask layer right here and then just brush them away. Just get rid of them. It's the bottom part so I can fade down. So I can give it a little fade. So I have some presets that I've made already and I feel like I'm, I have one that's really cool and bubbly. I think it'll work well with this t-shirt. So that's just clicking on the type layer holding Control again, go into blend, blending options, go to my styles, and then hit, I think it's called bubble. I think it's this one. Yeah, that looks funky as hell. Ah, there you go. That's cool, bubble. You know what, this might be out there, but it's, it's looking kind of fresh. I mean, it's, it's J Balvin, so. I go to my brushes, I have Cloud brushes that'll work really well for the background. Then what we have to do is go all the way down to the ground layer, add a new layer. That's Command Shift N, return, new layer, and then select a color. I drop a color. Maybe the dark purple would work here. So I'll odd drop it, hit B, quick key for brushes, and start painting in some clouds or smoke. Right here, so I have to feel like this needs a drop shadow. So I'll give it a drop shadow. Make sure to bump it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of distance. There you go. That's that's fine right there. Okay. What do I have to do to give it an arch? Convert to smart object, maybe. Hit the corner. Yep. That's weird. Maybe negative 
25 will do the job. Maybe negative 30. And then I'll just drag it down a little bit. Distort the font. Just distort the font. Who cares? All right, let me do this a solid color just so I can have my so I can cover up my file a little bit. That's looking okay. It's looking all right. I'm not mad at this, man. I'm really not mad at this. Yeah, it looks kind of funky. It's cool. I'm giving it a drop shadow. There you go. Make it like dark purple. Just so it's not so harsh. Size. Saving up. Maybe an inner shadow will work too. Yep. Inner shadow. Maybe make it like dark purple. Yeah, that's it. Maybe the the clouds have to be darker. Okay. Okay, we're going somewhere. Yeah, maybe give it some give it some lightning, maybe. I don't know, give, I gotta give this a drop shadow for sure. Or a white glow, maybe. Outer glow white. I'll do the same thing to this one. Yeah. Bring up the type. Yeah. All right. That was hard. I mean, it's cool. And select the type in the bottom. Hit command and just drag the side up to give it a nice little arch or shear. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right, now let's start. Let's start playing with the color lookups. Give it another color lookup. Maybe give it some lightning, man. You can't go wrong with clouds and lightning. Just add some lightning to it. We should cat it up. Let's cat it up. See how it look. Go to my CAD. Paste it on there. Bring it up a little bit. Yo, that's not bad. Funky multicolor t shirt. There you go. Yeah, crazy. 